hey hi friends welcome to today's video so in today's video we are just going to take uh, forward the next uh, steps on the localization that we discussed in the previous video so if you have not watched the previous video I'll just suggest to watch once or if you have enough knowledge on localization then you can continue from here also so in the last video what I did basically that I introduced localization so I did localization for two languages English and Hindi and uh, I use that in the content view okay and I use it in both the way like when you have dynamic variable and you have a static uh, variable as well okay now what can happen that uh, in your actual scenario you can have lot and lot many strings here like and that you are going to use in your uh, key in your text now let's say that by mistake if some developer or by any 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 means if something got changed here let's say that by some for some reason this R got uh, misplaced or or deleted and now if I run it so you can see that uh, now it is actually showing the key not the text and the reason is obvious we discussed uh, in the last video that uh, how Swift UI goes and try to find the keys in the localization and if it doesn't find then uh, it shows you the this key okay now this thing is like no um, it's it is basically I can say it's a human error and then human error can occur sometimes okay so to avoid this there's a very popular uh, library which is called uh, Swift chain okay and so now I have corrected the spelling and now I can see this text here okay which is I my language is basically Hindi here and that's the reason that it is coming from here okay now how this types of mistake can be avoided using this Swift chain uh, library now this is a very popular uh, library I can say that it is used for multiple pur purposes okay now if you come down here let me just increase the size and uh, first let's see the installation part so there are a lot of way to install you can download a zip and use it uh, not recommended at least from me so, uh, then you have cocoa ports you can uh, include it through cocoa ports or you can include it through uh, home to you or I mean there are a lot of options okay the two are basically which I will suggest either use use home view or you use cocoa port again home view is a better approach because if you use home view then there is no dependency that is included into your project okay it is all on your system level so if you uh, you can, it's, it's up to you how you want to use via cocoa pod or via uh, home view okay now I'll I'll tell you through home view because that's what I prefer so let me just open my terminal okay and uh, what you need to do basically here you need to run two commands so first is brew update so first make sure that uh, this home view is installed uh, so you can install this just copy and run this command into your terminal prompt okay so I have already installed it so I'm not going to run this and uh, this is brew update so for my case I think my brew is already updated so even if I run this it will not have any uh, changes so let me just do it uh, uh, fastly okay so if your brew is an old version uh, brew means home brew then it will just update to the latest one okay uh, so see it's already up to that and uh, then you have to run this install shift chain so this is all also again installed in my system so it will not install it again if you have not installed then it will install it for you so see, it's giving me that it's already exist okay if I want to reinstall I don't want to reinstall at this point of time okay now if you want to come through cocoa ports again it's very simple you have to just uh, uh, you know, create a pod file and then write this into your pod file and then just run this pod install command okay and then the this dependency will be installed in your system also okay so now uh, the homebrew is the shift chain is installed then what's the next step okay so next step is to create your uh, basically this uh, shift chain uh, file okay so to create a simple configuration what you have to do you have to just run this command okay so here I run this and what it will do it will create a 
this file into your project directory okay so the file actually got created for me and it let me show you the project directory as well so if you see here in the project directory this file got created okay and if you see by default there are a lot of line of code that is being written here so we'll just see uh, the things that is actually required for the localization part so if you see here there are a lot of things like uh, this is basically for your uh, uh, strings that what we're going to see in the later we'll also see that how we can actually use images also in a better uh, manner using this subject chain okay so if I want to use a string so what I have to do I have to basically uncomment this part okay so if you see this hatch is basically commenting this so what I need to do I need to uncomment this code okay so now what is telling that for this strings this is my input path and then this is my output path okay input means that on which file actually this swift uh, gen is going to you know, run it is a script and the output is basically that on which file it's write it so for our case the input will be basically this localizes table uh, strings file that it's going to read all these things and uh, output by default it's giving this name it all depends on you how you want to configure it you can even change this name change the path let's say that you want to put it in any specific folder that also you can do okay now for this input if you see my path is not uh, this resources slash base dot l project okay my path is actually different because I have to run this on localizable and if you go back uh, to this file here see this is inside this Bhagavad Gita which is my root folder and then I have this file okay now uh, let me go back to the documentation here and uh, if you see here uh, if everything is fine then you have to run this this one config lint what this will do to validate your config file that means every letter that here what is basically you are trying to do you are trying to write some sort of command right that this is going to my input and this is going to be my output so if everything is correct then this when you run this command it will not give you any error if every, anything is wrong then it will give you error okay so now let me run this uh, command into my terminal and uh, if you see here it's giving me error okay so this particular command will not do anything it will just check that everything is proper or not now here uh, what is telling that see if you see error strings input this resource slash base dot l project does not exist okay that's the error now what is our requirement our requirement is to give the path for this uh, swift chain right uh, sorry give the path for uh, this one any I can give it for any localizable string path okay so basically it is inside this en dot l project that means that this part is going to be en not the base one okay and this is inside not resources folder where it is it is inside this Bhagavad Gita folder right so let me give the path as Bhagavad Gita okay so this will be all depend on how you are keeping your file structure for your project okay so this can vary okay and let me just run my command again and now if you see that there's no red line that means everything is fine okay input is fine output is also fine that is going to create something here again as I told you that you can also change and give a specific path where this uh, no, uh, file is going to be created okay now once this is done then what we have to do if you see here uh, we have to run I think simply shift gen that's it okay this where we just run this command so let me come back here and just run this shift gen now the moment see I wrote this you can see that when this file got created here okay and if I open this it shows something like this So see it takes care of all the shift lint because if, the, if you have shift lint installed it will not give any uh, no, 
warning uh, in this particular file and this file is auto generated okay see so if you can see that it's written generated using swift change so in your uh, development uh, process you have to never edit this file because even if you edit it if some new strings has to be created this file will be again uh, modified or I can say again recreated so your changes will be lost and now if you try to see the string what we wrote this is content view dot this variable name so if you see here this is the root uh, class name again you can change this also everything is customizable okay and uh, this is the content view this is the enum name and then you have this Bhagavad Gita chapter which is the uh, no, like actual name which we are going to use okay now it's very simple to use it but right now if you see that my project doesn't have this file right because this file got created here now what I need to do I need to first add this file by dragging and dropping it here right so let me add it so now this file is actually inside my project directory so that I can use it this was there in my project directory but this was not added now I have added into uh, my project now what I have to do I have to go to content view and then now let's change this thing here okay so I'm going to use a V stack here and let me put this text here and this I'm going to keep it as it is I'm just going to create one more uh, text so that uh, you now we can see that how actually it works with uh, the the new constant that got created okay so here what we, have to, we need to write so if you see the file first we have to use this because this is where the enums start right so this one dot contain view dot Bhagavad Gita chapter and then you have to pass the variable okay and that variable in this case is count okay so now we are all done now if I run this this time I should see my text two times right one time uh, for the actual key so this is still going to work and one time for the newly strings file you can see that it's coming perfectly fine okay now till now if you see that this is not adding much you know, advantage because you have to run the shift chain command manually and then dragging and dropping obviously um, for demo purpose I can say this is great but uh, for your actual uh, project this is not going to work right so this process has to be automated like you don't need to manually drag and drop this so for that okay now let me first do one thing um, so if I add for example that let's say that uh, here if I add one more key so I'll just call it as uh, Bhagavad Gita and I'll change it to title okay let's remove this and this will be also just till here same key I'll copy and uh, I'll go to Hindi paste this remove this part and uh, copy this key okay okay but if you see right now this thing doesn't get modified this is still containing only uh, one text that is my uh, Bhagavad Gita chapter even if I run it again it is not going to add that case for me so if I want to show you if I write one more text here for example then I have to do it something like this dot content view dot if you see it's not showing me that title one okay so what do you need to do you need to again do the same process that is open your terminal uh, and again run this shift chain again this file will be created and again add it okay but we are not going to do that because that's not the actual way that you would love to do okay now for that what we need to do that we can uh, actually so make this little faster actually there's very uh, simple way 
let me show you right away okay so here if you see uh, it's telling that integrate shift chain in your x project and then there are multiple uh, thing like for example, shift chain via cocoa pod then in the build script if you remember uh, in my previous to previous videos where we were discussing about uh, swift lint um, then we added uh, like uh, a build script right let me show you that so here see this is the swift lint that we added and what is this basically doing that this is running when you are building it and it is trying trying to find all the uh, warnings and error for you okay so similarly I had need to run uh, I need to add one more uh, run script phase here okay so shift J okay now based on what you have selected whether you have selected cocoa pod or whether you are doing this jib okay according to that you need to put your script okay so I did basically what a homebrew right so for me this is the right script okay so copy this and then paste it here okay now again uh, this script has to run uh, I'll prefer before swift lint because the code has to be generated before the swift lint right so let me just move it upward before the swift lint okay now let me stop and run it one more time and see what changes for me okay so the build got succeeded and uh, this one okay and this one also got modified right because the Gita title also came by default now let me do one more thing let me just add more uh, uh, key here okay so I'll just call it as uh, for example just Bhagavad okay and uh, the same thing I'll copy and I'll paste it here and just replace this with this okay so now I have one more key and now I'm not going to do anything extra just stop this and just run it again so now, and now if you go here you can see that this Bhagavad also got added okay so no no need of dragging and dropping no need of you no know, running any command manually now how does actually this is benefiting you now let's say that for example in uh, my case uh, let's say that I am using let's say Bhagavad Gita title okay now somebody modified it let's say that if I'm running it I'll see this text uh, basically in my simulator so let me just show you here so I'm seeing this the second one now by some mistake what happened that somebody changed this for example that if I go here and uh, somebody just remove this one, right so remove this here also and let's say that this got modified here also now when I when I will build this project now see you are getting error right your build is getting filled so even by mistake if something changes you will be notified at that point of time and there's also there will not be any scenarios that where you, you know, by mistake you forget to write any spelling mistake like you know, I forget to write A or something like that so those kind of things can be easily avoided using this uh, library okay so the shift gen is actually very powerful there's lot and lot of huge cases of this library and uh, I personally prefer uh, using it in all of my project okay so hope uh, you enjoyed this video and if you have really enjoyed watching this and you want to watch more and more content like this then please do consider subscribing the channel that will really motivate me to bring more and more content for you thanks for watching thank you